today's video I'm gonna talk about should you cut every single year so should you do a dieting phase every single year now traditionally you know a cutting phase or a normal dieting phase for average about 15 20 percent body fat and then you cut down to about 10 percent that usually lasts about 16 to 20 weeks you know maybe 24 that's the most amount you know but usually it takes about 16 to 20 weeks which is a normal amount you know and so you could potentially fit a dieting phase into every single year but i don't recommend that you know i recommend you have a scheduled plan that you have a detailed plan and this is what the plan should look like if your goal is aesthetics you know being the biggest being the leanest then this is the plan for you so this is what you should do instead of focusing on dieting every year and bulking every year you should focus on this so first if you're chubby if you're soft get as lean as you want to be so do a cutting phase until you get to about 10% or under 10% body fat. That's where you're gonna see your abs, you're gonna be veiny, you know, you're gonna be vascular, your muscle definition is gonna be there. So at that point, cut to that lean phase, and then you can start lean bulking. So lean bulk for at least a year, you know, only 200 calories over maintenance, bulk, get to about 15 to 20 percent body fat and then after that you just cut down again and then you just switch you know and then you constantly alternate between those two phases cutting and bulking and that's that's the only way to get to your biggest and leanest you know because to put on muscle you have to bulk and to get lean you have to cut down so you have to do a dieting phase and then you have to constantly alternate between the two so the main question should you cut every single year you know that's a too much generalized question to answer just yes or no you know so it depends what you're currently doing you know if so let's say you start dieting in March you know and then you diet for six months so that's March April May June July and August you know in August you're done and then you start bulking you know so september october november december that's four months and then what are you gonna do are you gonna cut now or no nah, you still continue bulking for another eight months to august next year you know and then after that august or september then you can start cutting again to get the fat off and to reveal the muscle that you actually built during the bulk so should you cut every single year this basic simple answer is yes because mostly it's gonna go that way because you're mostly gonna start bulking at you know the middle of the year or the end or just a little bit over the start of the year and then it's gonna come out to at least one cutting session a year so in essence basic answer yes but like I said, you have to have a plan and you have to alternate between cutting and bulking to get the best possible physique. So first, if you're fat, get as lean as you want to be, 10% body fat, under 10%, start bulking, you know, bulk, lean bulk for till you get to about 15-20% body fat till you start looking soft and you start to lose that muscle definition and vascularity. And after that, when you reach that point, you can start cutting again. You know, get back to that lean phase, 10%, under 10%, to reveal the new muscle that you built during that bulk, and just repeat and repeat and repeat until you get to your goal physique. Simple. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you out. Don't forget to like, leave a comment, and definitely subscribe. Oh,